Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to another video from ScrollSawVideo.com and Taco Designs. If you have any questions or concerns, please shoot me an email or leave a comment in the comment section below. My email is ScrollSawVideo at gmail.com. It's my website, ScrollSawVideo.com. This video, we're going to go over the Chicago Electric Rotary Tool Saw Blade Kit. It is item number 67224. It's purchased at Harbor Freight Tools. Comes with five cutting discs like saw blades and the mandrel to hold them. So let me readjust the camera angle and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here is a closer up view of the item number we're going to be going over today. The Chicago Electric Power Tools Rotary Saw Blade Kit. Item number 67224. As you can see it comes with five blades and one mandrel. This is the back of the unit here. Sold by Harbor Freight. So let's give this a shot see what happens with it. If you notice I'm going to be using the flex shaft for this demonstration. If you would like please refer to another video I have on how to mount your flex shaft. Very quick video. So let me go ahead and get this open here. Let me use my razor knife here. Slice it down this way. Well, let me add, if you don't mind, every review I do on these rotary tools in this rotary tool series, either the accessory itself or the actual rotary tool, I do purchase these myself. I am not giving them from the manufacturer or distributor. They are coming, my, coming out of my own pocket, so I, I do not mind giving my honest review on them. So, hope that explains a little bit. So here we have the mandrel. I'm going to unscrew the tip right here. Take the tip off. It has two washers. Now take. You take your screwdriver tip, put one washer on, and we're just going to put on the medium size saw blade. Put the other washer back on, screw it back down to the mandrel. Now you see the direction of the, the teeth and that is the direction that it will be cutting. Now you can put it this direction or the other direction is your preference but I have it coming this way which will be cutting in this direction. If you're looking at the camera it's going to be cutting counterclockwise. So let me tighten this up by hand screwdriver. I wish it had a, a uh, uh, not a slotted bit but a Phillips bit on the end of this but it doesn't. I'm going to put it into my multi chuck. Remember you don't push it all the way down. I'm taking it out about, like, about an eighth of an inch. Tighten it up by hand. Now that I know this is tightened up on the on the shaft, I'm going to take my screwdriver, tighten it a little bit more. You don't want this thing coming loose on you. This is a dangerous tool right here. Not recommended for kids. I got to stress that this is not recommended for kids. You see that this blade is not guarded in any way. It is very dangerous. Please, please keep your hands away from this blade as it's turning. Okay, let me plug in this rotary tool here. Just one second, please. I forgot to mention, on every time you put an accessory into that 
piece right here on the end of the collet. Please, please make sure that your tool is unplugged every time. Okay, we have it plugged in. Let me turn the power on up here. Turn up the speed a little bit. Remember what I said, this is a very, very dangerous tool. This is a piece of curly maple, very hard piece of wood. Let's see how this cuts through here. Cuts through very proficiently, very, very quick. Okay, you'll, you saw how easily it cut through this piece of curly maple. Keep in mind, you very important as you're using this cu cutting tool. It's just like a circular saw blade. It has to go in a straight line at all times. Anytime you twist it, you can possibly have a, a major injury. And also, please, 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 always wear eye protection when using this tool. So we went through a piece of curly maple. Let's try a piece of pine, cheap pine, and see how this does. Want a straight line? Okay, I'm going to turn this off right here. Now, I just cannot stress enough how dangerous this tool is to use. In the upcoming video, we're going to make a, a guard to go around this. So I'm going to work up a design and see what I can do with it. How would I rate this tool? Considering how dangerous this thing is, without a guard around it, be very, very wary if you're going to use this. Do not buy this for kids. I stress, do not buy this for kids. So, my recommendation, unless you really, really know what you're doing on this, I would recommend right now, I would give this a 5 out of a 10, only because of the danger use of it. So, let me work up on a shield to build. We're going to do this in an upcoming episode. Let me unplug this tool while I'm talking, if you don't mind. That's about all I can say about this thing. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, how-to video. I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up button below. Thanks for watching.